Some black flats are like always great to have, aren't they? Like, look at them. They're so pretty. Like, they actually don't even have a real sole under it. Well, <sighs> hello my loves. So today, in today's video, I'm reviewing you the Manolo Blahnik Hangisi flat. And if you are a Sex and the City lover, if you watch the movie, you were pro you're probably in love with the Manolo Hengizi style. And I love them since since I first saw the movie and I wanted a pair of them so so bad. But I have to say, even though I'm a lover of like very elegant shoes, um the Manolo Bani Hengizi, I was like I'm so scared to wear them like because of the heel and the heel is satin and you can't wear them so so much and they are so expensive. I'm telling you all about the price and everything like that later in the video. And so I went with the flats because I was like well an elegant flat you could actually wear that probably a lot more and yeah some black flats are like always great to have aren't they? Like and look at them. They're so pretty. Huh, oh, so so pretty. And yes, I now have them since a little while. And I wore them and now I will just give you a little bit of a review and tell me about the price, the wear and hair, the comfort and also the sizing of course. So first of all the price. Um the Manolo Blani can gizi the pumps as well as the flats are so so expensive. So um depending on where you buy them they are about the thousand dollar marts which is i know so so much the flats are you can sometimes get them for about eight hundred dollars but i haven't seen them under eight hundred dollars um on not not even one a website and yeah that's the price so they are super expensive so i had to make sure that i can wear them a lot and then that's where I will tell you about the wear and tear because if they're if they like look like crap like after a few times wearing them then the price really isn't worth it and I have to say after wearing them as you can see like it stretches a bit and I don't have such a wide foot but it stretches a little bit I think it's just the material it's satin so it doesn't hold up that good like if you for example look at those Chanel ones, the Mocassin, they do not go out that much, but that's a much sturdier material. Like, if you look, that's much sturdier than um, the satin. So, you have to keep that in mind. So, especially I think if you have very wide feet, then it could be good because the shoe, foot, um, the shoe gets wider, but it's also bad because it stretches quite a bit. So just keep that in mind if you have a wider foot, a wider foot. Also, if you have a very narrow foot, keep in mind that if it's nearly a bit too wide when you buy it, keep in mind that it probably gets stretches out even more um, after wearing it for a little while. Then the wear and tear itself on the satin. I have to say, yes, satin is super um, sensitive, sensible. I never know what to say. Sensitive. But I have to also say that it does keep up quite good. But you know if you can see here, sometimes it gets those little bubbles. It frays a little bit, and also here you can see the buckle. You could lift it a little bit. So keep just keep that in mind because the buckle is so heavy. So I think it gets lifted quite easily. So I have to say it's probably not the best true quality out there, like the best of the best, but it's also not bad. Um, I mean, there is only so much that you can do with um, satin shoes as a shoe um, producer. And I think Manolo Blahnik did it very, very well. And then, what I can also tell you, um, they also do not have a good sole under like they actually don't even have a real sole under at all it's like those nearly wooden material so i have to get them um sold i have to get and put a, um, a rubber sole on them because as you can see i didn't wear them like a ton and it looks like i wore them a ton um that's what you have to keep in mind as well so always what i recommend with designer shoes 
always get a rubber sole or just some kind of sole put on there because even if you think designer shoes should be made like perfectly they usually have a very thin sole which is probably out of aesthetic aesthetic reasons but um, I would rather have a sole and the shoe um, looking good for a longer time because that's not aesthetic as well like yeah then for the sizing um, as I explained that I think in my Chanel Boulay flat review and I all I have usually a 38 and a half and I always or 39 depends like 38 and a half 39 let's say 39 and I always like to size up to like a 39 and a half and ballet flats because I get blisters so so easily and sometimes like my whole back there is full of blisters like full so I'm super conscious about that and that's why I always size up and with those I sized up as well to a 39 and a half and I think they fit actually quite good but after wearing them for a little while I think a 39 would have been good as well so they are a tiny bit too big but there are some little things that you can put here so you won't you don't slip out so that would make the trick so if you are on the uh, like on the edge of going size smaller or sizing up with fillet flats I would always size up for comfort and if they are a bit too big put like those um, those um, transparent glue thingy down here not down here like here at the back and then you won't slip out so those are two peas in a pot oh as a whole I think those shoes are actually um, well it's hard to say they're worth the price because they're so expensive but um, if you like buying shoes at this price point I think um, the Manolo Blahnik Kangizi pumps are a much better option than a lot of other shoes like I would much rather buy those than um, some just some trendy um, Bottega Venetas for example because I think those shoes they will be pretty and great and in fashion like they're a classic they will be good to wear in 20 years if you look after them and also they're so versatile to wear like if you look at it with this um little embellishment here that makes it your outfit a little bit more elegant a little bit more special and that means that you could wear those shoes like without a problem for any evening occasion because you don't always have to wear high heels if you don't want to so those are great for evening occasions where you want don't want to wear high heels because maybe there are like cobbled stones out there or maybe you just don't like wearing high heels or I don't know you you broke your foot something like that and then they are great um, for any evening outfit but I also think that they are great for any daytime outfit because if you wear some simple jeans with a white blouse, a white tee and you put paired with those shoes like your outfit doesn't look boring at all your outfit looks like wow it really elevates your outfit I think like those embellishments here you could really pair it with like every single outfit in my opinion and yeah it's kind of like a Chanel brooch like if you put it on like it really elevates the outfit like the whole look it like really is like the the special vocal piece of your outfit like I wouldn't go full bling dress with those shoes for example but even actually even you could do that you could do that because they are black and satin so they are not all over glittery so yes I can literally not think of any outfit that those um, ballet flats wouldn't go with so that's a real plus in my opinion and that's also a reason why the price is a little bit more justified because it's not like a shoe that you can only wear to a certain occasions or with certain outfits it's a shoe that you could literally wear all day long all night long you could also wear it like and go from day to night you could wear it to work also like sometimes shoes to go to work if you're in like more of a corporate um, environment can look boring let's be honest and those shoes are like very classic very elegant so you probably can wear them in most offices 
and I mean I work at a law firm worked at a law firm and I wore those a lot and yes so they are super pretty also you don't have to go with black like they come in so 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 many different colors like literally so many different colors and you could also go with like this beautiful teal color um, that Carrie Bradshaw um, bought in the Sex and the City movie like she added in the high heel that's the low heel and that's also another point if you like always wear high heels those also like they also come like in normal high heel like um, Carrie Bradshaw again bought in Sex and the City in the movie and they come in like I think an 85 millimeter and like a um, 11 centimeter heel so they come in two heel sizes as well so very good shoe and also as a little tip Manolo Blahnik is probably one of the shoe brands with like the most comfortable shoes like especially high heels um, my Manolo Blahnik high heels I have the BB pumps are the most comfortable pumps like those and the Chamito Rossi like perfect like literally running material they could be my running shoes and I would probably be faster than in my Nikes because I'm not a fast runner anyway so yeah if you've made it until here in the video please consider subscribing and then you won't miss any other videos because I post Wednesday, Friday and Sunday, so three times a week and I also have a lot of videos that are already up on my channel if you want to binge watch a lot of fashion-y videos and yes, that was all of me from today and I will see you in my next video maybe just right now if you click somewhere here